let's study about vesicular transport. What does vesicular transport means? It simply means transport of a vesicle. Now, what is a vesicle? A vesicle is a membrane bound structure containing certain substances. Okay. Now, this specific mechanism, it is used for the transport of certain macromolecules, which cannot be transported by the simple diffusion or facilitated diffusion or even the active transports, right? They require this special mechanism in the form of vesicles. Okay. So vesicular transport is of three types, exocytosis, endocytosis and transcytosis, right? Exo means outwards and cytos means cell. So there is movement of the vesicle outside the cell from within to outside the cell. Now here we'll consider the movement of vesicles and not macromolecules, right? The macromolecules are already packed inside these vesicles and these vesicles move. Okay. So here there is movement of vesicles from inside to outside. Endo means inwards and cytos means cell. So there is movement of vesicles from outside to inside the cells, right? The macromolecules move inside the cells. Transcytosis, trans means across. So transcytosis means movement of vesicles within the cell. All right. So this is the basic meaning of these three terms. I hope it's clear. It's very simple. Let's talk about exocytosis first. Exocytosis of two types, constitutional and non-constitutional. Now, what does this mean? Here, imagine this is the plasma membrane. This is the extracellular fluid, the outside, and this is the intracellular fluid, the inner compartment. Okay, this is inside of the cell and this is the outside of the cell. Now, we have something within the cell known as Golgi apparatus. Okay, and Golgi apparatus is the one which will produce these vesicles, these membrane bound structures having these macromolecules. Now, the vesicle once formed may follow two paths. One, it can directly go and bound, bind with this plasma membrane and throw its contents outside, right? One is this pathway. Second pathway is that it can undergo certain processing, certain modifications, and then it can bind with the plasma membrane and throw its contents out. Okay. So this first mechanism in which there is no processing is known as constitutional exocytosis. And this mechanism in which the vesicle first undergoes a certain kind of processing and then binds with the plasma membrane, this is known as non-constitutional exocytosis. Okay. Now what happens here is that the vesicle has come here now. It is bound with the plasma membrane. Now what will happen is that the plasma membrane and the membrane of this vesicle will fuse and dissolve and all these macromolecules will move out, right? So this is simple exocytosis now, right? So this is what you need to know. Now a bit of extra information for you. I'll just magnify this image here, okay? Just let me show you that this is the plasma membrane and here you have the vesicle that is about to bind with the plasma membrane. What happens is that there are specific proteins present on the vesicle. All right. And they're also present on the plasma membrane. All right. These blue and black structures you see, they are specific proteins. Now, these proteins are known as snare proteins. S-N-A-R-E, snare proteins. All right. Now, what do these protein do and what happens actually? Before we go into that, let me tell you what the full form of snare is. RE means receptor and SNA stands for snap. All right. SNA stands for snap. Now, what does snap mean? Snap means soluble NSF attachment protein. All right, soluble NSF attachment protein. NSF means N ethyl melimide sensitivity factor. All right, NSF means N ethyl melimide sensitivity factor. So snare proteins are present on the vesicle as well as on the plasma membrane. Now this blue colored snare is known as V snare. V because it is present on the vesicle. And this black color snare protein that you see, this is known as T snare. T means target. The vesicle has a target that is plasma membrane, right? It has to bind with the plasma membrane. 
okay so this is v snare on the vesicle and this is t snare on the plasma membrane now what happens is when the vesicle comes close to the plasma membrane these two snare proteins wind with each other and they get attached to each other and this helps in proper binding or we say proper docking of this vesicle with the plasma membrane right and once the vesicle is docked with the plasma membrane this membrane fuses and the contents move out and this is the whole concept of exocytosis now let's talk about endocytosis endo means inwards and cytos means cell right so there is movement of vesicles from outside to inside the cell okay endocytosis is of further three types phagocytosis pinocytosis and receptor mediated endocytosis phagocytosis means cell eating we are already familiar with this term phago phagocytosis we've seen this in cases of macrophages or neutrophils where we've talked about neutrophils and macrophages phagocytosing the bacteria right the bacteria is outside the neutrophil and then the neutrophil takes it within itself so it is endocytosis all right it is also known as cell eating right the cell takes in solid particles so it is phagocytosis it has three steps first is adhesion or attachment second is engulfment and the third is intracellular killing okay so that's all about phagocytosis coming to pinocytosis pinocytosis means cell drinking all right cell takes in certain substances in the liquid form all right so that is pinocytosis coming to receptor mediated endocytosis all right before i get into the detail of receptor mediated endocytosis let me show you the mechanism of endocytosis okay so this is the plasma membrane all right let me draw it bigger this is the plasma membrane and this is the extracellular fluid compartment this is the intracellular fluid all right now the vesicle is coming from outside and the substances the molecules have to move in it is endocytosis okay so the vesicle it approaches the plasma membrane and what happens is that it binds all right and then there is infolding of the plasma membrane we see there is infolding of the plasma membrane the vesicle is moving in and eventually what happens is that the vesicle is pinched off and it is inside the cell okay so this is endocytosis right so what happens vesicle comes binds there is infolding and finally the vesicle is pinched off and it is inside the cell so this is the mechanism of endocytosis now there are certain areas on the plasma membrane which form these depressions known as pits all right these depressions are called as pits okay now these pits they may be lined by different proteins and based on that the receptor mediated endocytosis is of two types all right it is it can either be clathrin mediated right or it can be mediated by rafts and caviole okay we'll see each one of these so imagine this is a pit here all right and it is lined i'll draw it bigger so that you see it more clearly right if this is i'll get this word out and if this is one pit it's not this big okay it's very small depression the plasma membrane just for understanding purposes i'm making this big so what happens is that this pit it is lined by certain proteins right and these proteins are known as clathrin let me show you the structure of clathrin here clathrin has a central hub and it has three legs like this okay therefore this structure is known as a triskelion tri means three so it has three legs radiating from a central hub right so this is the structure of clathrin now what happens when the vesicle comes clathrin gets attached to it okay imagine this is the vesicle so clathrin will start binding to it okay so what happens is what we see is that this is the vesicle and here we have this triskelion protein attached on the vesicle on the endocytic vesicle and this is known as clathrin so the endocytosis which is mediated by the help of clathrin is known as clathrin mediated endocytosis and it is a type of receptor mediated endocytosis all right that's all about clathrin 
Now another point if you need to remember is that when this vessel is being pinched off right here here from here it is pinched off right there's involvement of a certain specific protein known as dynamin okay the specific protein which helps in pinching off of the vesicle known as dynamin right so that's all about clathrin coated clathrin mediated endocytosis coming to rafts and caviole now what are rafts all right let's just get this out quickly okay rafts are also pit like depressions present on the plasma membrane all right these are also known as rafts now what happens is that these depressions they deepen and form flask like structures okay and these structures flask like depressions they get lined by specific protein this protein is known as caveolin and these depressions that are lined by caveolin are known as caveole okay so rafts they get deepened and convert into flask like structures which are lined by caveolin and these structures are known as caveolae and when the vesicle comes it binds here and then the normal endocytic mechanism occurs and this is known as rafts and caveolae mediated endocytosis all right now just let me give you an example of clathrin mediated and rafts and caveolae mediated clathrin mediated we see nerve growth factor ngf right nerve growth factor endocytosis okay this is a specific factor which is required for the growth of nerves if this is a neuron right so the factor is here it has to move in it moves in via clathrin mediated endocytosis example of rafts and caveolar is absorption of nutrients from the blood this occurs via rafts and caveolar moving on to the last topic that is transcytosis trans means across okay so transcytosis means movement of the vesicle within the cell okay if this is the cell so this is the vesicle so it involves three stages vesicle formation vesicular transport and vesicular docking on its target right so formation transport and docking this is transcytosis transcytosis is also known as cyto pemsis all right this is another word for transcytosis so that's it for transport across cell membrane i hope it made sense i hope you understood the lecture you can go back to your books and read and i really hope it will be easier for you to understand and i'll see you in the next one